Hi, in this session, we will discuss about the meaning of exchange rate and uh, types of exchange rate. This session is part of our previous uh, sessions on Forex market. We'll start our uh, discussion with the meaning of exchange rate. What exactly the meaning of exchange rate is? You might have come across this concept earlier as well. Maybe you heard it from your friends, family members, peer groups or you might have read this in newspaper or it is in your curriculum. I hope you are recollecting. Fine, no problem. The exact meaning of uh, exchange rate is an amount of domestic currency to obtain one unit of foreign currency. This can also be called as the price of one currency in terms of another currency. Look at this chart which I have sourced it from economictimes.com. This chart shows the exchange rates for various pairs of uh, currencies. First you look at here the US dollar and INR. It is showing rupees 76.365. What it means? It means that to get one US dollar we have to pay rupees 76.365. In the same way to get one Great Britain pound we have to pay rupees 95.0602. Likewise to get one Japanese yen we have to pay rupees 0.7082. After looking at this we can say now that the exchange rate is the number of units of domestic currency that we have to pay to get one unit of foreign currency. We will understand this concept with an example. The example is like this. Let us assume that you want to tour USA and you want US dollar for 5 lakh rupees. What you will do? You will go to currency exchange center and see there the exchange rate as rupees 77. It means that for every dollar you have to pay 77 rupees. right? So after exchanging your 5 lakh rupees for US dollar, you will get US dollar 6493. So how you get? This is the formula. You can see from here I have got the rate. Suppose you come back from US to India with 500 US dollar left. Now what you want to do? You will go again to currency exchange center because you have to exchange this 500 US dollar to Indian rupees and you see their exchange rate as 78.500. So now you see when you are starting from here or to US the exchange rate was 77. Now it is 78.50. The Indian currency against US dollar has depreciated. So it is good now for you. You will get more rupees. So you will get uh, rupees 39,250 for 500 US dollar. How we get that? INR equals to US dollar into the current exchange. So this is how we can understand uh, the concept of exchange rate. Now we'll uh, discuss about the types of exchange rate. So there are uh, different types of exchange rates like uh, fixed exchange rate, floating or flexible exchange rate, spot exchange rate, forward exchange rate and dual exchange rate. This also we call as onshore and offshore exchange rates. Now we will discuss about a fixed exchange rate. Fixed exchange rate is also called as pegged exchange rate. This fixed exchange rate is pegged or linked to another stable currency or any of the asset like gold. When a country follows fixed exchange rate system it is good for them. It ensures stability of exchange rates just by linking it to any of the currency or any of the asset. And it also protects against rapid fluctuations in economic variables especially interest rates and inflation. So there are so many countries which are following fixed exchange rate system. For example, Denmark follows fixed exchange rate system, Hong Kong, Bahamas and Saudi Arabia. For example, Hong Kong dollar. The Hong Kong dollar is pegged to US dollar. They consider US dollar as a stable currency. The Hong Kong dollar at any point of time will not go above 7.85 and will never come below 7.7. It will be always in that range. Likewise, 
Danish krone is again linked to US dollar. A Danish krone will always be between 6 and 7. It will never go above 7 and it will never come below 6. So fixed exchange rate means here this exchange rate is always pegged or linked to any of the stable currency or any of the asset like gold and silver. Now we will discuss about a floating exchange rate. The floating exchange rate is determined by the market forces that is the demand and supply. The demand and supply for that pair of currency will decide what's supposed to be the exchange rate. The market forces means here any of the variables it may be from both countries uh, you know variables economic variables or it may be global variables. So these variables will decide what's supposed to be the exchange rate for the currency between any of US dollar or Indian rupees. Most preferable exchange rate as it absorbs the economic shocks means that this exchange rate is most preferable amongst most of the countries in the world because it absorbs all the shocks that means whatever it is happening in the world it is reflected in the exchange rate. So it is discounted in the exchange rate. We also call this as managed float. The reason being whenever situation demands central banks of that particular country intervene mainly to stabilize their own country's currency. Maybe it is during a recession time or during boom state. It means that whenever the currency is depreciating, for example, you take India only. When Indian rupee is depreciating against US dollar and it is too much. In that case, our central bank RBI will do what? They will start selling US dollar and buying Indian rupees. Then what will happen? The demand for Indian rupees will go up and demand for US dollar will go down. So then uh, the currency rates between these two will be stabilized. Sometimes it will be even a reverse case. So it means Indian rupees will be appreciating more than expected. In that case, the RPI will start selling Indian rupees and buying US dollar. Like this, some are the other way. The central banks of respective countries will intervene in the system to stabilize their own country's currency. Now we will move on to next exchange rate that is spot exchange rate. The spot exchange rate is the current exchange rate for any of the currency. It means the exchange rate which is prevailing in the market right now. That is what we call the spot exchange rate. It is the rate at which your currency shall be converted if you decided to execute a foreign transaction right now. If I am willing to buy US dollar against Indian rupees. So whatever exchange rate is there right now will be what? the spot exchange rate. It represents the day to day exchange rate and also vary by a few basis points every day. So this is uh, you know, the rate keeps on changing and again it depends on the demand and supply or some market forces. We'll see now what is uh, spot exchange rate between uh, Euro and uh, Indian rupees. So it is rupees 83.37. It means for every 1 euro we have to pay rupees 83.37. Likewise, the exchange rate between UK pound and Indian rupees is 94.48. It means that to buy 1 UK pound we have to pay rupees 94.48. So just to understand the spot exchange rate is the current exchange rate. The rate which is prevailing in the market. Now we will move on to the discussion of next exchange rate that is forward exchange rate. The forward exchange rate is the one that is determined as per the terms of forward contract. I hope uh, you remember the discussion of uh, forward market and forward rate in the previous sessions. So forward contract is just an agreement between two parties wherein both of them agree to buy or sell a particular asset. A particular asset means here it is foreign currency at a predetermined rate. It means they agree at some rate now only but buy and sell will happen after certain period of time maybe after three months, four months or six months. So that is what uh, the specified rate in future. Whatever rate they are going to fix today to buy or sell in future date that rate what we will call 
forward exchange rate. A forward contract is generally entered into by exporters and importers who are exposed to foreign exchange risk. You know that uh, exporters and importers will not be paid on spot sometimes. So they will be paid in the future. When they are paid in the future, they are obviously exposed to foreign exchange risk. Whatever exchange rate is there today will not be same in the future. That's what uh, these exporters and importers will get into forward contract and fix the exchange rate now only and they make uh, buying and selling. So the rate at which they are going to buy and sell that is what we call forward exchange rate. Usually the forward exchange rates will be trading at premium or discount to spot exchange rates. So premium means here forward exchange rate will be more than the spot exchange rate. Discount means here the forward exchange rate will be lesser than the spot exchange rate. Now you see uh, the forward rates between US dollar and uh, INR. Here we have month, bid rate and ask rate. Bid rate means here this is the rate at which bank buys US dollar from you and ask rate means here that is the selling rate bank selling rate so at this rate bank will sell US dollar to you for August 31st 2020 the forward rate that is bid forward rate is 77.8175 rupees likewise the ask rate selling rate is rupees 77.8775 likewise we have for September month, October month and November month. So for next six months you can find out the forward rates for future transactions, for future buy and sell. Now we will move on to a next exchange rate that is dual exchange rate. So dual means here two. There will be two exchange rates. So in this type of system the currency rate is maintained separately by two values. So country will be having two exchange rates. One rate is applicable for foreign transactions and another rate for domestic transactions. Such systems are normally adopted by countries who are transitioning from one system to another system. So who are transitioning means from fixed exchange rate system to floating exchange rate system. If they are in that transition, they follow two type of exchange rate system. There are many countries which are following dual exchange rate system. This dual exchange rate system is also called as onshore and offshore exchange rates. Onshore exchange rate means the exchange rate which is controlled by the country's government and it is fixed. They use this rate for essential goods and services mostly for current account transactions. Offshore exchange rate is a floating exchange rate which is determined by market forces and it is used for all the capital account transactions. Dual exchange rate will help those uh, transitioning countries as they will not have any burden on their economy position and uh, forex reserve. Now we will see the China's case. China follows the dual exchange rate system, one for essential goods and services that is uh, onshore exchange rate and another one for rest of the transactions rest of the foreign transactions that is called as offshore exchange rate here the first exchange rate is fixed or controlled by the china government so it, it will have a limit and this rate is exclusively used for essential goods and services and uh, Another rate that is offshore rate which is exclusively used for all other transactions, luxury transactions, capital goods transactions. So wherein this rate is determined by the market forces. The main reason that countries are following dual exchange rate system is that they want to shift from fixed exchange rate system to floating exchange rate system very smoothly. So which will not affect their economy very badly. So for that purpose first uh, they will have both the rates and after a certain period of time they will have only a floating exchange rate system what India has now. I hope this discussion on uh, meaning of exchange rate and uh, types of exchange rate was uh, useful to you. If you need any further assistance uh, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much and have a great day.